uh, in in recent years in fantasy, just drafting the lowest price Patriots running back seems to work out well. I, I really do love this Harris style pick late, late, late in drafts. It's it, it, Sony's taken a pretty big hit for me. He's fallen. He's you know in my top twenty five or so now. He's in the more fifty ish range because we just don't know what the shenanigans are going to be. But Harris is a guy. He's getting no love in the fantasy community right now. And as you mentioned, the injury history with Michelle very real. Very likely Harris is going to have a couple fifteen twenty carry games out there for the Patriots offense. So the other thing with Harris, I guess, is I think he could potentially be their goal line back. They looked yeah, at right. The, last year the Patriots really struggled in short yardage, and we saw. I mean, James Devlin was getting a lot of. He, he had some mm. touches in the red zone last year with some touchdowns. So I think. Maybe the Harris could be that guy in short yarders, and you know, you know that those value for touchdowns in the red zone. So maybe Harris could be a sneaky big play in fantasy. I mean, yeah, it, we saw Legarrette Blunt stumble into what, like eighteen touchdowns just a few seasons ago. So yeah, it's a, it's an invaluable role. Whoever locks it down at the stripe there, so definitely something to monitor. We'll we'll be sure to touch base as we're, we're tracking camp and whatnot. Who's getting those? The last backfield piece, and I don't know it's kind of tricky to call this guy a backfield piece because he's more important as a receiver, most would argue. That's James White. So does Harris impact him at all? Is his role diversified enough? And he's coming off the best professional season yet, 1,176 total yards, 12 total TDs, uh, beats out Joe Mixon in terms of PPR statistics. Is he going to be that type of usage again, or is it going to take a big hit now? What do you expect in 2019? I don't think a big hit, but I think it's not going to be the same. I mean, the Patriots running back situation was pretty tough last year. I mean, Cordero mm-hmm. Patterson was, was starting at running back in a couple of those games. So and we saw James White get more carries than ever last year just because of, you know, of the injuries and, and all that. So I think White will definitely keep that same role on third down, being a guy that catch passes out of the backfield. But I, I just don't think he's going to get asked to, you know, carry the ball more than, say, you know, three or four times a game. I think he's strictly going to be that third down back, catch some passes out of the backfield, maybe even line up as a receiver a couple of plays so I think he's going to take a little bit of a hit fantasy wise just because the Patriots are going to hopefully be at full strength but I still think he's decent he's a decent fantasy player just because he catches so many passes out of the backfield yeah I think you summed it up perfectly because part of his enormous value entering this offseason was he's almost like a handcuff to Sony Michelle even though he's tinier he's a different type of back that's where he got so much of his value is he had to kind of fill in for this guy while he was hurt and while Burkhead was hurt and he just dominated but now with Harris there if Sony went down as you mentioned this would be the guy that fills in so definitely lessens his stock a little bit in my opinion but with a, a lack of pass catchers too maybe that he takes a little bit of an uptick but yeah that, that was, I think Harris even though he looks so different when he takes that handcuff role away from White it definitely limits it's the ceiling a little bit in my opinion and 